this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are helping us on this journey to unconditional love. Love of the journey, love of the soul group, they're all helping us back into our divine unions. And so today's message is all about believing in the impossible. So I mentioned yesterday um, in the video about the cloud formation of Prince's face. And so this happened in the States, there was a big storm and then somebody had taken this photo. Now, this is quite amazing because you can see the exact profile here of his face. And actually in this light, it's, it's, it doesn't look as clear, but it is basically Prince's face in the, in the, in the cloud formation, which is why this, these messages and everything is just so amazing because as, you know, with all the songs that we get through and with all of the messages in all of the films and everything, it's so much about believing in the unexpected and believing in things that sometimes the eye can't see. And so it's all been, you know, that's been a really strong message about how, that's been coming through as well. It's about believe in the feeling in your heart because it's not always what the eye can see. And now things are coming through that the eye can see as well, right? So all this time that we've been set, we've been told, right, you have to believe, believe, believe. And now we're being able to see in nature, in everything that's around us, that having this kind of validation from the universe in every single thing, right? In the clouds, in the animals, in the trees, in, you know, conversations with people where your twin spirit works through them, through songs, through films, everything. So, and this for me is just the perfect, perfect, perfect thing because it is the purple rain for me is such a massive, massive, has such a big connection for me and my twin. Um, so for me, this is just, you know, it's a bit feeling like the icing on the cake, you know? So that's the first thing. Believe in, believe, believe, believe. Now, yesterday in a healing I did for a lady, um, it was quite, again, a, quite a random healing, to be honest. It was three things about a cat. So the first thing was I saw a cat, I felt a cat rub my cheek and I felt a cat go around my ankles and then I was aware that it was a ginger cat. And there is a film that I've been talking about quite a lot, which is Street, street Cat Called Bob, which is a true film about a busker who basically was um, living on the streets and was a heroin addict and he found a cat and the cat um, sort of adopted him and because he had to look after the cat he then had a purpose in life so he got a flat he basically took the cat busking with him he got off drugs and he ended up getting a book deal and a video and a film now the place that he used to busk in was called angel and um, Angel was also the place where my twin uh, moved to when he moved to, uh, he used to live locally to me, but he moved up to Angel. And then, you know, as it goes, then moved again to near where I used to work. Um, and so, um, so the first thing was I saw a street cat called Bob. Now the moral of that film is basically that anything is possible right? He went from being a heroin addict living on the streets to now probably a Hollywood film, you know, being made out of it. The second thing, I then saw a cat from outer space. And um, I was guided to go to YouTube, right? Now, I did not know that there was actually a film called A Cat from Outer Space. So that was the second thing, right? And each of, in each of these clips that I found on YouTube, there was loads of, loads of signs as well. And the third one was a cat surfing. Um, I saw her surfing on a surfboard with the cat. And so then I was guided to search for YouTube again to look for a cat surfing. And I was thinking, well, there's never going to be a cat surfing. I mean, that you're just never going to have a cat surfing, right? But sure enough, there was a link to a cat surfing video. Just one of them. But each of these cats, two of these cats were ginger. So I sent the so I sent the healing to the lady and I said and basically the message was is that you can achieve anything. Anything is possible. So what you have to what you have to do is let go of your mind basically. 
don't close yourself in, right? The other thing is that, is that, that happened in a healing a few days ago was the Divine Masculine wanted to come out of the box, right? So he literally, I saw them literally, him literally coming out of his box, right? And so um, that's been a real theme recently. It's about not try if you're trying to, in your mind, think about how this is going to happen and think about, you know, logically where things are going to go and how these, th how you're going to get back together and or how is this even going to pan out, right? If you're thinking with your logical mind, the message today is to step out of the box, right? And let the universe do it for you. <laughs> because that is what I've seen in the healings recently. It's been very much so about believe in the impossible, right? And put all of your mental thoughts about how this is gonna happen and working out strategies, right? move it out of that and put it in the hands of the universe. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is, is that um, somebody has also sent me this, which is an octopus has three hearts. Now, um, I knew there was going to be something coming up about octopuses because I've had um, octopus messages coming through for a while. But on the, um, when I was driving back yesterday in the car, um, it was on the radio again, an octopus has three hearts. And I'd remembered that this lady had sent me this, is that she, the day that I was talking about octopuses, then her, I think her iced tea or something had this on it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to um, check out the spiritual meaning of octopus. And this is what it is, it says, an octopus animal totem symbolizes, like other water drowning creatures, the octopus animal totem symbolizes purity, emotional, psychic, and creativity. The octopus spirit guide is also known to be symbolic of a keen spiritual psyche and inspires others to channel theirs. Right. So this is what we're seeing on this journey, right? Because we are moving all up in our intuitive abilities basically because we you've tapped yourself open to the collective consciousness right and so that is why we're seeing more and more and more of all of these songs that we're all sharing all these messages we're all sharing we're all seeing the same things we're all experiencing similar situations um because the and this is the message that basically the octopus has three hearts so you have two hearts that beat as one, but it is the third energy that is going to put you together, right? Because in, I mean, to me, it was really loud and clear in that healing yesterday because it was very abstract. I mean, basically three cats, one surfing, one from out of space and one saving a guy um, who was a street busker and creating him millions, right? So of course that is very specific. And, and well, so the, the the basically the teaching of that is very poignant, right? Because it is all about freeing your mind and letting the divine energy do it for you, right? And because what happens is if you um, if you start to think with your mind, remember what you create is what you what you think is what you create, right? So if you're overthinking this too much and thinking of plans of how it's going to be, etc., you're kind of almost blocking what can be, what the potentials are. So you're much better off to say, I'm ready for my union in whichever way the universe wants to bring it to me. I'm ready to find, you know, if you haven't found them yet, I'm ready to, to have my twin flame brought to me. I'm ready to open myself up to more and more love. I'm ready to open myself up to the magic that the universe wants to bring me. I'm ready to be unconditional love. I'm ready to vibrate at the highest frequency that I can. I'm ready to be my soul self. I'm ready to step into my future. I'm ready to live in bliss. I am living in bliss. I am here to be the love vibration. I'm here to be a love warrior. Please show me the way. So if you're wanting to do mantras or if you're wanting to do, you know, to basically think things then those are the sorts of things that you should be thinking. Rather than thinking, 
you know, and to keep it open to say, you know, I'm open to the universe showing me the steps I need to take to bring me into my union. I open my heart so the union to say that the universe can show me the way. I open my heart fully with no barriers so that I can be brought on my unconditional love path. You know, all different ways of basically saying I'm open, I'm free, I'm, you know, I am vibing in the love vibration, but not blocking it by putting in sort of steps about what you want to happen, you know, by being open to what the universe wants for you, basically. Because this is a really clear message. This is about being open to your sight, your intuition, being open to your psychic ability, right? And so once you do that and you know that the divine is going to help you, then you can be much more open hearted about it. Because there is no doubt that we have so much support to make it happen. Look at that. I mean, that's just amazing. So if you want to come to me for healing or to join the Crystal Grid um, or to have an energy read, then please do. Because, so, you know, people come to, back to me and this lady just came back to me to said that after I did an energy read for her, she heard me mention her twins. It must be her, I don't know how, but she's heard me mention his name about three times or something. And she said, how do I get a, you know, can I have a healing? I was like, yeah, of course. Um... And so the thing is, is that your twin spirit will immediately, once you're connected, if you want to connect, then your twin spirit will want you to know that they're working through these messages, right? And that's the same for everyone. Every single person, you know, all of these songs aren't specific for one individual, they're for all of you, right? Because it's your twin spirit working through every single one of them, right? It's the collective, right? You are part of a collective consciousness. You are part of a twin flame collective soul group. So all of these songs, every single one of them, every single film, every single message that goes out is from your twin, right? Just as it is from my twin, just as it is from, you know, for every single individual. So just know this, the truth is, you know, that these, these unions are set, you know, basically it's written in the sky. The other thing is yesterday, love is in the, I had a healing, they, I saw I love you and love is in the air written in the sky and then this came, it's literally written in the sky, it is written in the stars, your union is written in the stars. All right, if you want to come to me for healing or to join the crystal grid, then please do, all of my details are in the link and I would love to help as many people as I can. All right, take care, bye.